Hello gang, welcome to the channel again and we're back with Magneto. We came to Krakow Winter uh, uniforms again and we are in Magneto. Magneto looks dope. I mean, perhaps the graphics are not so good or something like that, but still, his purple jacket <coughs> and the red thing inside looks dope. His uniform it's totally cool and his hair also generally his style and also he took a really nice upgrade on his kit he doesn't look like a uniform for holidays I mean there is no snow like it was for Gwenpool uh, there's not a lot of uh, things for Christmas the only two things it's the second skill uh, there is this thing yeah, it's a snowfall. Uh, yep, and his third skill drops some metal pieces and bring them together into a Christmas tree. A sad Christmas tree. From the one side, from the other side, it's still a Christmas tree. And in the top, I think it's the symbol of X-Men. Yeah, it's really cool. His rotation looks like uh, 3 cancel, 4 cancel, 5 to proc on. But generally, I'm gonna speak about CDB of Raids. Uh, I have already equipped CDB of Raids and I believe it's the best one. Cause his fifth skill got 20 seconds cooldown and with the 50% cooldown you're getting 10. So you can't have it on every rotation, so you have it on every second rotation. So I pretty much do something like 2, cancel 1, cancel 3, cancel 4, cancel 5. Wait a bit, the fifth skill again, and after I have my tier 3, let the tier 3 drop, drop the fifth skill, and again charging. And that's pretty much what I'm doing during the gameplay I'm gonna show you. Uh, the good part with him is his tier 4. His tier 4 uh, is dropping this uh, magnetism of earth, you know, if you can see down in the ground. Uh, there is the mag the magnets of Earth, the North and the South Pole, and yes, it's really cool. It's doing damage over time. So yeah, his fourth skill feels to have a lot of damage on it. You can see uh, the damage. The fourth skill says it's not one hit. It's a hit that drop down below, and for ten seconds you're continuously doing damage with your tier four. It's the first tier four we're seeing that doing damage over time so I'm looking forward to tier 4 him and test that uh, but generally his rotation it's pretty simple and I feel like he fits better as CDB of Raids let me show you the build and I'm, I already record at level 70 uh, the stats looks like that I'm undercapped on critical rate and critical damage a bit um, I have no Odin's Blessing, I have, uh, yeah, I have him level 70 also, I have some tests for level 70, no artifact, and uh, a mighty raid on, and his uniform, it's at rare, so, yeah, in my opinion, uh, basically, you know what? Let me let me show you the gameplay, the stages I have record for World Boss Legend and Jormammu GBR. Compare him with uh, Storm, the other paywall uniform for a mutant character, you know, and another tier four character. Uh, I didn't compare him with Jin because Jin is universal from the one side and. Storm, it's mutant, he's mutant also, Jin is mutant, but Jin has other typing. Jin from the other side is a uh, villain, but yeah, let's talk about Storm basically. Storm was the best one when I compared Jin with Storm the other day, like two videos before I think. So yeah, look, go there and see the output of Jin and compare all together. So, before we go through that, I want you to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, smash the like button and comment down below in the comments what do you feel about Magneto? What do you think? Do you think he's going to be the next meta character for one year plus? My thoughts. 
But yeah, let me let me break down through the gameplay and after let's go into it. Uh, into my final, you know, uh, opinion on him. So yeah, let's go. Here we are with level 70. I used Riri Williams as leader and support of him. Tears, you could use his own lead also, but Riri got 5% more. Uh, she got like 55 and Magneto got 50. You can see uh, the rotation I'm, I'm going against stage 30. I have a mighty raids there and I am level 70. As you can see, my HP goes like that. And that's because of the poison clouds. Uh, I was standing there and taking some damage. <clears throat> About the rotation, you can see my fifth skill, it's on every second rotation. So you have to delay it. It's kind of weird. Uh, but the good part with CTP of raids is that you, in meantime, you can spam the other skills charge your tier 3 and drop the tier 3 and after drop the 5th skill so yeah the rotation line up when you drop inside the tier 3 also so you're doing something like 3 cancel 4 cancel 5 1 2 again 1 2 or 3 tier 3 4th skill again 1 2 and the 5th skill after you can see the 5th skill delays a lot delays a lot so that's why i don't believe that he's consistent with any proc i mean energy ctp destruction ctp or a simple proc because if you have to delay like that for a good fifth skill you're gonna lose your proc so it's gonna go into the next rotation it's kind of weird it's kind of weird you can't real he is proc friendly but you can't really use him with a proc and having great results, you know. I saw some videos also from other content creators uh, that uh, test him with mighty destruction and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't feel like this is what he needs to work. So you can see there, he is really fast. The good part is that his second skill and his first skill, it's skills that you can cancel and run. I mean... You're, when you're pressing the skill, uh, when you're play, pressing the second skill, he's dropping the snowfall and he's ready to go already with your, you know, with, uh, you can move him. I mean, the, the skill doesn't have a lot of animation to play, so you can drop a second and run. Also, he's way faster than Storm. Of course, Storm is Slurm, is the, the slowest character in the game, the slowest tier 4. And here I tried to push him and I made it. And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop uh, everything inside of the damage he's doing. It's a bad tactic there. I was just trying to see if I can over DPS him. And yes, I had some good results, but yeah, almost, almost. So took me like three minutes, two minutes and fifty seconds for him. To go into um, to almost end the fight, so let's consider that uh, I did it on two minute clear. I mean, two minute left clear. Let's go to level eighty. Okay, at level eighty, uh, the damage increase is noticeable. You can see that uh, one rotation did like ten bars. Of course, I'm stage 30, but I want you to know how the difference between having Magneto level 70 and having Magneto level 80 looks like. I mean, it was like uh, two minutes left in the, in, the, in the end of the fight. Here took me 25 seconds to go through. I did one rotation normal, one rotation with a tier 3 and one extra, half extra rotation. So... Yeah, it was really fast. Here again, you can see already 22 bars. So it took me 10, 15 seconds for the second phase. Really fast, really fast. If you consider it like a level 70, it took me whole three minutes to clear. Let's see. 15 bars, 13 bars, yeah. One minute into the fight and I'm already in the dragon phase. I even skipped the dragon phase. 
And yes, let's see. Here I tried pretty much the same. I said, you know what? It's stage 30, I'm level 80. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go through that. I'm gonna try to do it. And yes, I almost did it again, uh, but it's one minute and 20 seconds into the stage. So I cut the time more than half. Uh, the half could be in like, uh, if I was like in, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, so it's like one and 20 and I'm already dead. So if it was 130, it could be the half, exactly the half. So it's less than half. So Magneto dropped his timing less, uh, less than half of the time. So it's, it's really huge, it's really huge. And let's see how he was performing against the same boss, but this time stage 50. Different supports and sorry for that. Different supports, and he is uh, here. I'm going to compare him with Storm also. It's stage 50. I'm using only mutants, it's Cyclops and Mystique. I forget to do the first and the second skill before my normal rotation. There, um, yes. I had myself into the cleaner cage, but you can see with a normal rotation I did like seven bars, and with the tier three rotation I did uh, pretty much the same as it seems. Yeah, no, like eight bars. Uh, okay, the best part is to start with the tier three, and the fact that now the tier three is full cancelable, you can cancel it as soon as possible. You're pressing it gives you the opportunity to fill uh, everything, you know, uh, starts with the tier 3, drop everything into your 5th skill, and your 5th skill got the accumulation, so all the damage is ramping up and make your accumulation even better. Took me like 1 minute there, as you saw, and here I was trying to let him jump and do my 5th skill after. You don't want to cast your 5th skill before he jumps, because when he jumps, your skill is getting cancelled. So that's why I was waiting him. And yes, I didn't, I couldn't cancel this phase totally, but it was really fast. And yes, we are at the pre dragon phase here. Second phase, third phase, I'm not sure how the phases goes with now but you know what I'm testing the character against now stage 50 because it's the stage that you a lot of people had stuck there back in the past and as a level 70 is really really hard to do with uh, Iceman with Storm was insane doing stage 70 I had done it stage 50 but I had done it with uh, Mighty Rage Iceman and uh, took me like two seconds left on the timing. It was really hard, but you can see now with Magneto, you're in stage 50 and I almost skipped the Dragon phase there, only nine bars left. And I used my tier three here, I could skip it, but I knew that I'm gonna wait in the end. So yeah, I was like, yeah, drop it now and let's wait. Uh, if I had saved the tier 3, perhaps the run could be even faster, but still. Uh, I have like 2 minutes left, so I did pretty much 2 minutes left in the end. I feel like it's gonna end up, let's figure out. But I did the same time with stage 30, level 70, as level 80. So from level 70 to level 80, I'm able to do, uh, yeah, it's exactly the same timing with me trying doing it at level 70 stage 30. So he did 20 stages more only because he took like 10 levels. So the level 80 gives him a lot. It's not from the situation of the characters that need tier 4 to perform better. His damage is really nice and let's see what was the what was in the same time what I was doing with Storm. Uh, let's jump forward. The I have used the same uh, the same 
lead, as you can see, it's Cyclops and uh, Mystique. I was using Magneto's lead, but yeah, it's pretty much the same because Storm here getting her own passive ability. So you have to consider that Storm now is getting triple, bu triple support. But yeah, it's part of uh, passive ability of Storms. It's not Magneto's fault. Uh, but let's go through to see uh, in the end how fast my storm could do it. So you can see stage 50, she did it like one minute faster. So storm, it's actually one minute faster and storm is with a normal rage, not a mighty rage. So yeah, developers still push storm payable uniform. I mean... They, did, they made a character way, way after than uh, Magne uh, way after Storm dropped and Storm it's actually better doing damage. Of course, perhaps uh, my playstyle, my gameplay gonna be better in a couple of weeks. Perhaps I'm gonna drop some 10 or 20 or 30 seconds of Magneto, but this difference, it's 1 minute and 10 seconds difference, it's big. Of course, I have some audience blessing in store on Storm, so yeah, perhaps the difference it's not 1 minute and 10 seconds, but it's for sure 30 seconds, for sure 30 seconds, because I have get used to play with Storm, and yes, I feel like I'm unfair for my boy Magnetus, Magnus, basically. So yeah, let's see what he was able to do uh, against... Uh, here I start DPSing 10 seconds into the fight, so we're gonna wait 10 seconds more than the 3 minute, uh, three minute uh, review I'm doing on GBR every single time. I'm not letting it until the end, because in the end it's annoying. So yeah, why doing that? Uh, here you can see it took him 30 seconds to go into the first half of the phase one, which is really fast for a level 80. For tier four, it's normal, but a level 80 doing that, it's really fast. And you can see here, uh, yeah, now his damage, uh, it's kind of less, but still. Okay, 15 bars left, and yeah, took him one minute. Okay, it's normal. And last time I compared, uh, before three days, I did a video compare him, uh, compare all the GBR characters, but it was, the boss was universal. Now it's blast type, so it's kind of different uh, because the blast, the universal one, got more resistances and, gamma, and damage decrease from the other characters. This one don't have damage decrease against Magnus, so you have to consider that too. But you can see him, he's flying through GBR as a level 80 with a rage. He can do, and of course it's a mighty rage, but still mighty rage compared to uh, normal rage, at least for ABX run, it's like something like half a million difference. It's not like huge difference on the damage. Half a million on the score, I mean. On the actual score of GBR or um, of ABX or ABL, I mean. And yes, 26 bars left, and I'm in the last minute of the compare here. It's 7.50, so I'm gonna wait until 6.50, and I'm gonna show you what I was able to do with Storm at the same day. The different, the team is kind of different because with Storm I use Seahawk lead, but yeah, I'm gonna show you and make your own conclusions. And yeah, let's see here. In the, in the same, in, meanwhile, basically, I feel like Magneto is a kind of glass cannon. He is got the same problem with Storm. Uh, but the good part with Storm is that Storm got her second and her first skill to jump around the bosses with, his, uh, with her second skill. She's dropping herself into the enemy. So you can avoid a lot of stuff like that. And she got the heal on her fourth skill where it, it's doing way faster than Magneto's fifth skill. Magneto got his skill on only on his fifth skill. And you can see here, it's 11 bars or three minutes of DPS. 11 bars, three minutes of DPS. So let's see what I was able to do uh, in the same time with uh, Storm. 
and uh, yeah of course as I told you Storm it's against Universal Dormammu uh, if you can see uh, his icon is Universal here so you have to consider that uh, but let's go fast forward and see um, yeah it's here she got 40 seconds more to DPS and yeah look at this I'm in 13 bar and in 5 seconds I have done the same time okay look at that it's exactly the same timing 11 bars 7 minutes with Magneto it's uh, with Magneto it's like uh, at the end I had like uh, look at this 11 bars 650 and I start from 950 so that's why I count it like that so the damage is really similar it's way uh, uh, really close to each other so you have to see you have to consider that so Magneto is pretty much equal to Storm one of the best DPS in the game as a tier 3 level 80 and yeah look at his build I mean I did all that with that build and compare him with Storm and in the same time Storm got this Odin's Blessing of course he got uh, her artifact also so if I get Magneto's artifact I'm gonna have even better results she got from the other side she got only a raid but she is capped on okay she is under capped on that too so uh, yeah the builds are really similar bro I see has 53,000 Energy attack, Magneto has 53. So yeah, it's pretty much equal. And my opinion for Magneto, guys, even at level 80, if you don't want to tier for him, even if you don't care about ABX, I care a lot about ABX and ABL. So I'm gonna do another review on that. ABX, ABL, 100%. And I'm thinking to tier for him also. But I want your opinion and what you want to see. I know he's a glass cannon. If I test him against Mephisto, he's gonna perform even worse. Against Jean, the same. Do you want me to expose his weaknesses to do more videos on World Boss Legend? What do you want to see from Magneto? I'm gonna drop a comment down below and pin it. And I want you to answer into that comment what you need, what you want to see next from Magneto. Do you want me to swap any city piece? Do you want me to do something else? I'm gonna do it. I'm here for you. Tell me. Ask for it. And that was it. In my opinion, he totally worth it. He is a black ball situation. Cost a lot, but gives a lot. And his typing being a villain and blast gives him the opportunity being the first one that can be level 80 after Iron Man. But Iron Man's uniform, it's kind of outdated. So he's doing good damage, but not that good. And in the same time, you got Mephisto, that Mephisto cost way more uh, as a tier, native tier 3 to build him and the cost on his gears and on all this stuff you need to build, it's way more than Magneto's, at least until level 70, of course, because Magneto got the extra cost, but still, uh, native tier 3s cost a lot of CCF to do. That was it, the first flavor of my boy Magnus. Let me know your opinion, guys. See you into the next. Kisses in your faces.